Hi, I am Madai of Free Spirit Designs by Madai, a creative teaching studio based in the Midwest. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you what I'm most excited about in sewing, and that is making art collages with tapestries. The beauty of this technique is the complete freedom it entails and absolutely no rotary cutter or mat. If I had to guess, I would say that you already have everything you need to begin the process right now. Go ahead and gather materials that you have around your house that spark joy and whimsy. For me, that means a lot of denim, paintings I have made, or very small remnants of fabrics that I love. When you are creating your art collage, please feel free to not go into the project thinking that you need an overall theme. Just begin by selecting a piece of batting that is big enough for what you want to create. So I always say about 24 inches square is just a good norm. We're going to be placing all the fabrics and all the little remnants that you collect right on the batting. We're not going to be doing a quilt as you go where you need the backing right away. I am using the Janome Continental M7. Set the stitch length on your Janome sewing machine to three. Turn on the automatic foot lift if you have it on your machine so that each time you stop sewing, the foot lifts and the needle stays down, making it easier to adjust the fabric under the foot and also pivoting. We will be building our collage directly on the batting. Create a rough draft of your layout before stitching. Start with your focal print, a flower, a text, a dress, and build around it by overlapping your pieces so that the batting is never showing through. If you like the placement of your pieces, if you're happy with it, stitch a few tacking stitches to hold everything in place. This step would be the equivalent of pinning. The stitches can be easily removed if you find that a particular piece should be moved. You can always increase your stitch length to make it easier to remove or reposition later. Once you like your layout, begin stitching in the middle, paying close attention that no bubble emerges as you tack down all of your fabrics. The goal is to have a rich layered collage that reads as one print, heavily stitched through. As you're thinking about finishing your art collage or tapestry, think about things that you can add by hand. I know that not all of us enjoy adding hand stitches, but I invite you to do that for this project. As you can see in here, this is something that I'm still working on, but I have a lot of hand stitches. The two pieces are applied by sewing machine, so that's why we're using this today. Use your sewing machine to create the most out of the experience but also feel free to add things by hand. I have little flowers, I also have doilies, so anything that has meaning to you, please feel free to include it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you look at this art collage as an evolving journal. Don't feel like you have to finish it just in one sitting or one afternoon. See it as a journal that it expands as you gain favorite fabrics or new techniques.